I'll take a second to talk about some maintenance on the drive shaft. Um, this is a very commonly overlooked item on the car. Most everybody we deal with thinks they last forever for whatever reason. Um, drive shafts do not last forever. They are a consumable part. These are like rod bearings. They're not going to last for the lifetime of the car. This thing takes some abuse. The entire power from this car applied to the rear end goes through this drive shaft. And if you take a look at these U-joints, these are 1350 series U-joints, which is very common. That's a pretty small joint to be transferring that much power. Now, this is obviously a carbon shaft, which is very common in our cars. We, we put uh, 4130 steel shafts or carbon shafts in. So this is a PST carbon shaft. We sell a ton of these things. You've got a 4130 slip yoke. You've got U-joints in the shaft. So at the very least, at the very least, if you run your car at all during the year, you need to put some U-joints in over the winter. They are cheap to buy and they don't take any time to put in there. At least put some U-joints in because they have little needle bearings inside there and they just get the shit beat out of them when you guys are running these cars and you run them over and over and over. And these are, these are non-greasable joints, so there's not like you can grease them all the time. They're solid joints that, that have no grease fittings in them. So the minimum put some joints in them. If, if this is a um, if this is a pro mod car, if this is something with some power that you're running a lot, so if you if this is a very fast car, it's got a lot of power, or a pro extreme car, or a pro nitrous car, or something that's got some big ass power, throw the fucking drive shaft away at the end of the season. I mean, when the the cost of this drive shaft versus the amount of crap that it destroys when it breaks is not even close in comparison. This is a very cheap item to replace rather than gutting the center of the car, which is what happens when it breaks. Um, carbon shafts don't cause that much damage when they break because they just turn into dust. So when they break, they'll just take this and unwind it and turn into a pile of shit on the floor. 4130 shaft, when it breaks a rear joint and it's still hooked to the transmission, it's going to tear up stuff until you stop. So. In comparison, to buy a 4130 joint or a 4130 drive shaft is cheap compared to what it's going to cost to replace the center of the car. So inspect this stuff. Um, if uh, if there's any marks on it where it's hitting the chassis, that needs to be addressed. The drive shaft cannot hit the chassis. We see this a lot of cars that come in, especially a car that had a 4130 joint in it. Now they've put a carbon shaft in. Um, these are bigger in diameter. And they, you may not have had a clearance issue with the 4130 shaft, but now you put the carbon one in and it's touching. If this carbon shaft touches the chassis, when it's spinning, it's junk. It will explode. You cannot breach this skin. This is very important not to have any flaws in here because it will break. So a... Uh, 4130 shaft, it can touch the chassis. We see a lot of times where it might have a little rub spot on a car that comes in here for some maintenance and, and we'll just address that and clearance it and open up some space for it. But um, take this out, inspect it, look at it, replace the joints, make sure that the, uh, the slip yoke fits nice and tight on the output of the transmission. Uh, it, it takes an hour to press new U-joints in and if the shaft is in good shape, uh, you're good to go for the next season. One of the things you can check too is twist and uh, you may not have the availability of this because you're going to need a, some, a flat surface, a very flat surface, uh, uh, a surface plate or a granite table or something. Some of you guys have machine shops. Um, you can take a 4130 shaft and lay it uh, on the uh, table just like this and check the twist in it. It should not rock. It should set flat and these machined areas right here should not be clocked out of place from the other. So if it's got a little bit of twist in it, it's time for it to go. Uh, it, it should set on there and you should be able to push down and it should be nice and tight and not rock. So if it's like that, it's got no twist in it. So anyway, do a little maintenance on this drive shaft. This thing is in there getting its ass beat every weekend while you guys are running this stuff and it is ready to come out of there if it's got a problem. So um, look this over. At the very minimum, replace some joints. If it's got anything else wrong with it, replace the whole shaft. If you have any questions on it, you can give us a call and we'll help you out with what parts you need for it.